Hey, what's up guys, Luke Profits. What are IP claims when drop shipping on Amazon? IP claims are very similar to uh, Vero. If you've ever drop shipped on eBay or anything like that, uh, eBay has the eBay Vero program, which is like verified rights owner. Uh, similar kind of thing with Amazon and IP claims. So IP claims are basically the copyright holder of uh, you know whatever the whatever it is the words the patents basically the items the person that is the brand that creates the items and uh, is selling them might limit who's allowed to resell their items most places don't care if you buy something and then you know want to resell it but uh, sometimes they do care and sometimes they say no we are the only people who are allowed to resell our product so this is basically where IP games come in and um, pretty much they they can get your account in trouble. So if you're listing brands that you're not allowed to sell, uh, it's you know it's not that many brands. There, there are a number of them, but it's not um, compared to the total number of items that can be drop shipped. It's not that many brands, but there are certain brands that will really want to protect and enforce their uh, their rights and be the only people that are allowed to resell their product, and they don't want any other resellers. So IP brands are things that can get you in trouble um, if you're you know reselling the wrong brand. Now, how do you know those brands? Um, doesn't really actually matter if you're using Reprice Hub, which is what I strongly suggest using. Uh, it's a tool that helps you uh, basically list your items more quickly to Amazon and then also updates the stock. It's always looking at the stock and um, like say, for example, I don't know, this plant right here, right? Say this plant is available from your supplier and it costs 10 bucks and then over here you're listing it on Amazon at a markup, say you're selling it for 20 bucks or something like that. Uh, so then when it sells, you can you know get the money from the buyer, use the money from the buyer to order this and have it shipped right over here. Well, what uh, what happens if the price from your supplier goes up a lot? Say this changes to 30 bucks, but you've still got it priced to 20 bucks here and then you get the sale, that can cause issues. So what Reprice Hub does is they basically are always checking, constantly checking the price of the item from your supplier so that it always matches on Amazon. They'll always update your Amazon price if you know the supplier price changes that they'll make sure that the same thing's happening to your Amazon price so you're never selling at a loss so uh, that's what reprice hub does but then one of the added benefits is that when you are listing an item using reprice hub they automatically scan any items that you list uh, to, to see if it contains one of those bad brands you know if that if the item that you're listing is being is is from a brand that is not allowed to be drop shipped, then they just automatically will block it for you. They'll be like, hey, this item isn't safe, so we prevented it from being listed. Uh, you know, if you want to list it anyway, you can go ahead and do that, but it's, uh, you know, very not recommended, and by default, Reprice Hub is going to protect you from all that stuff. So um, there are other ways that people will do if they're not using Reprice Hub. They'll use, uh, like, pulling up a spreadsheet and then trying to look through these, these brands lists, but that takes a lot more time, and one great thing, and why I recommend using Reprice Hub is because, you know, they really, they block all those brands for you which just saves you an extra step with when you're doing your product research because you just take the item put it in and it's automatically blocked uh, whereas other ones other other price trackers and uh, price monitors don't do that right now at the moment so uh, that's a great thing about reprice hub if you want to sign up for reprice hub go ahead and click the link here that's showing up on the screen right now i'll also put it down in the description and you can click it on there as well and hey up here popping up should be a video that goes over how to configure reprice hub and set it up and all that good stuff uh, and if i forget to do the the video link or you're not seeing something pop up it's probably because i forgot to link it so just leave me a comment and i'll remember to fix it there uh, but yeah reprice hub is great and if you use the link in the description to sign up for it you'll get 30 percent off your first month i think that's a pretty good overview of what uh ip IP brands are, they pretty much just, if you get too many of them, you're going to get your Amazon account suspended because obviously you can't just go around selling products that you're not allowed to list. So um, yeah, you want to stay safe from those, not list IP brands, and if you're using Reprice Hub, you're protected from like 99% of them. So it shouldn't be much of an issue if you're using Reprice Hub to list like I recommend. Well guys, that's it for the video. If you're new to dropshipping on Amazon and you're trying to figure out how to get started, I've got a full free set of training videos down there, link in the description, it goes over everything you need to know to get started dropshipping on Amazon. And Amazon's great because compared to other platforms, it's actually super easy to get sales with very few listings because there are so many more buyers on Amazon and so many few sellers that you're competing with compared to other platforms like eBay. If you've got any questions about anything dropshipping related, feel free to hit me up on Facebook. I'll put a link down there as well as a link to a group that I started that has hundreds of other dropshippers in it that you can join. I post new content on this channel every few days, so go ahead and subscribe and hit the notifications and I'll be back with another video in a couple days.